Hello there, I am Giant Growth More Earthbound. In the last part, we got to, uh, we woke up, there was a meteor, um, and then, uh, we went to just go look for the meteor, we ran into Pokey, he said to go home, he said for us to go home, so we went home, slept a little bit more in our jammies, but we had to, we had to switch, we had to, um, dress out of our jammies twice, basically, in the last part. Um, and now we're back, um, it's still nighttime, of course, Pokey, um, wants to find us to help him find Picky, or he'll be in trouble because his dad's gonna get home soon or something. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, his dad must work a very late job or something. And we also have King along with us too, our dog. We also named our, um, allies characters, which we'll should get to them later when we get through this game and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I think that's really about it, so let's get into some fighting. Here's the crow. Crows, um, are... Like, I think the most threatening uh, enemy is right now at this point of the game because they can peck at your eyes, which really hurts even in real life. That's never happened to me where a crow just pecks my eyes. But like, it does like 8 9 HP of damage, you know, and it's not really fun. So, for the battle system, you just have this cool background music, which is awesome. The cool background, you have the crow thinking it's so cool because he has sunglasses on. You could bash him, you could bash the crow, or this. The spiteful crow. <laughs> you could use a PSI, which I don't think we have yet. No, we don't have anything yet. Okay. We can defend. We can use an item, like we could use our bread wall, but I necessarily at 30 HP, which I think is max HP right now. So there's no need to do that. Auto fight, which I'm not really sure what this does. I think it does like the battle quickly or something, but you, you can't choose what to do. Really. It's random. That's my guess, and you can run away. But for me, I'm gonna bash this crow, because I want to get some experience. Yeah, King tries forward. Yeah. Okay. Pokey, uh, yeah, Pokey's just gonna do some weird stuff. He's not gonna be very helpful, honestly. Oh yeah, there's that pecking out that has 8 damage right there. Yeah, King bites it for 5 HP. Uh, I don't, I forgot, some of the attacks is really going to spy fast, so I'm pretty sure Pokey didn't help out in that battle at all. But after you win a battle, you get some experience. And I am only one experience point away from leveling up, because I remember in the last part, our dad said we needed 4 experience to level up to the next level. So in this game, to get experience points, I mean, you'll have to present. They'll always leave cookies, and we can always take it. If you if you don't have any more room in your um bag or whatever, your goods pocket, <laughs> I don't know. Um, you could always just discard one or replace it with a item you really don't want. So, yeah. But the item probably won't, I don't think the item will drop when you get back to the map though. So it's like you have to choose it carefully because you won't get it back. You can't. You won't, you won't drop it or anything. You just have to give it up basically. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, so that's cool, I guess. Our first battle in the books, everyone. If we talk to Pokey, well, can we talk to him? No, we can Well, it's really hard to talk to him. Yeah, I don't think we can talk to our party members right now because they're too close together. Oh, here's a runaway dog! It's brown! Okay, you engage with the running away dog. I'm gonna bash this dog. Hopefully, I get some a smash attack soon. Uh, yeah. The rabbit, okay, Pokey played dead, of course, yeah. So like King King missed with his attack, but like um, I only want to try to get a smash attack because they're like the equivalent to like a critical hit, except for they do a lot more damage than the critical hit would do in like a Pokemon. So I want to see if I can get one. Okay, Pokey played dead again. I do seven HP. Or Ness does ten, does seven H seven HP against the Runaway Dog. And then ten HP. Okay, now Ness is on level two. Yay! Offense went up by one. Maximum HP went up by two. Maximum HP went up by two. Ness realized the power of Life Alpha. I'm pretty sure that's Life Alpha, which I think is a Greek symbol. For like, um, you know, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire like in Pokemon. I'm not really sure what the group symbols mean. I'm not really that smart on that topic, so. Um, 12 HP. Yeah, I should probably... Well, let me see if I can use, um, my PSI. I'm gonna use Life Up and it should heal me. A little bit for HP wise. Yeah, okay, cool. And it maxed my HP out. So sometimes when you max your HP out, you get like a little bit more than your max HP, which is pretty cool. So I, I usually would get 30, but I got 32 back. And it takes some of my PP away, but I still don't want to... I don't want to use my bread wool. I want to save my bread wool. And I kind of want to just not die against this crow thing. And I'll put, um... I'll mention this now, since we're doing the fighting in this episode, or part. I should say part. Um, that I will be doing a death counter for how many times Ness, like, collapses or something. Which, it's collapsing. It's called collapsing in this game. It's just collapsing. It's not good. That means you have to start over left from your save point, basically. So let's bash this crow. Oh, okay, packed up my eye. I packed up Ness's eye. So 24 HP, okay. Yeah, 13 damage on this. Okay, cool. I think one more bash should do it. One more turn, I should say. It doesn't, it didn't have 8 HP, 8 HP on me, on Ness. It should go tame. Yeah, there we go. It became tame. And when it becomes tame, it, like, basically stops fighting and, it, uh, 
guess it just leaves you alone after that, basically. The mate left the present. Got another cookie. Yay, Ness took it. Okay. Okay, we already got that present right there. Okay. So you just have to make your way back up to the media to talk to that policeman guy. Oh, I see. Is that picky right there? I don't know. Let's see. The uh, policemen are not here anymore, so we can just go up here. Oh, there's a butterfly. Um, if you touch the butterfly, it'll, it'll help you, um, HP and PP. So let me s yeah. And that's really cool, because it really helps. Well, no, I think it helped me, um, actually restore PP, actually. I don't think it restores HP, but it restores your power points. Which is pretty cool. Obviously, I have $20 to shove it there. Uh, oof. I knew it was this was going to be such a scary place. I want to come along. I want to have come along. I'm out of here. And then King just goes home. That's like the only time you get to see King in, uh, as a party member. He's a very temporary party member. And same with Pokey too. So yeah, let's go to Picky and talk to him. He's all shocked. Wow. Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is a VO big brother. Okay, so Picky joins us. Which is cool, I guess. Yeah. Let's, t let's eat this um, meteorite pizza thing. Ness, do you hear a buzzing? Do you hear a buzzing that sounds... Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Uh, no, I don't know. You're crazy. Oh, come on. You must hear it. I hear it now, I guess. Interesting. That came out of the meteor. <laughs> A B, I am not. I am from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Guy gas. The universal... A uh, cosmic destroyer sent all of the horror of eternal darkness. Sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, this is what this is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It, it says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock, and will reveal the path of light. You see, in my opinion, that you are that the in my opinion, that you are that boy's nest. <laughs> this I believe. I guess monstrous plan must have sent, have been sent in motion somewhere on Earth. If you st start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of a guy gas. Three th things are of the utmost importance: wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends. From the ancient times to tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You must work hard. You must have to. You must have. You have much work to do, Ness. There we go. Do you listen, did you listen to what I had told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are the, expo you are the expo exponential as expected. You are as exponential as I expected you to be. That's a nice chime. I think Buzz Buzz joins us. Yeah, Buzz Buzz now joins you. Okay, um, Ness, it, it's looking like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart's about to pound is almost pounding right out of my chest. Okay, so on the way back, you won't run into any uh, wild enemies from like a runaway dog or a snake. But I don't think we ran into a snake yet, but we ran into runaway dogs and crows basically. So up until, well, I shouldn't spoil it. Let's just make our way down this little mountain thing. I didn't mean to press A there. <laughs> my bad. So like how Buzz Buzz just circles around your head, that's pretty cool. So Buzz Buzz... Knows what he's talking about. Well, it's, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I believe him. I believe in the prophecy. Ness is the chosen one. Or one of the chosen ones. And we're gonna be invincible! Oh, wait. What the heck? 
<laughs> it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You, you've been successful at foiling Master Gygas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So this is our first boss battle in the game. It's really easy because like you can't there's no possible way you could lose this fight. I mean like they just give you this fight and you automatically win. I mean you can't lose this fight. So I could use um, PS life up on my teammates I think but it's really no point because I can just go bashing on this Starman Jr. This enemy is Starman Jr. So we'll have to bash him <laughs> basically. Okay, uh, PSI Shield. Um, if you remember in Super Smash Brother, in the Super Smash Brothers series, uh, you know, Ness uses PK Thunder and PK Fire and PK Pulse. But, um, oh wait, they're attacking, okay. Um, but, um, it's actually just PSI in the Earthbound games, or the Mother series, I should say. Yeah, each Buzz Buzz puts a PSI Shield of us, and, you know, and Starman Jr. just tries to attack it and get rid of it, but there's no way he's going. Is gonna win basically. Yeah, I like the cool backgrounds and stuff, it's really cool. Okay, all but all the shields are disappearing, I'm sorry. But he yeah, Buzz Buzz is the reason why you win this fight basically. And you, is the reason why you can't lose this fight, it's cause he's so powerful and strong. He has all the right stuff in battle mode. <laughs> it's like every time Buzz Buzz puts up a shield. Uh, Simon Jr. tries to get rid of it, and he does, but the next turn he puts Buzz Buzz, I think, puts up another shield. So 125 uh, HP, wow. And with that, we win. We gain 16 experience points. Ness is now level 3. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. And IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. <laughs> Maximum HP went up by 13. Ooh, thanks. Maximum PP went up by 3. Yeah, and Vitality is like the best stat you want to keep on raising up in this game because it'll help you out in the long run. Or so I've heard at least. So I want to try to raise up my Vitality as much as I can for all my teammates basically because we're going to get later teammates in the, in the game later on. As, they, as the prophecy said, three boys and one girl. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas. As well as humans who have evil thoughts, they'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. Oh man! Due to Dot Gygas's influence over their evil in their minds, and it is the truth. So listen. Okay. So we, I'm gonna just end the part right here. I'm gonna go back to my house and save. So yeah. So um, this has been my Earth Brown Let's Play part. The next part will take on. Well, probably gonna return Pokey and Picky home next door to their parents, hopefully, and they won't get mad, right? So yeah, and then we'll go on from there. So this has been Jonko again. I would like to mention again. I would like to mention again. Goodbye, and I'm just see you guys next time. My Earthbound Let's Play.